All right, guys, this video, we're gonna be uh, filling the cooling system of the LS engine. Uh, there's multiple ways you can do it. Uh, take the top radiator hose off, fill it through there so you get the block full. You can't just fill up the radiator like you would on a small block Chevy. It'll never reach the uh, thermostat and get it open up. You'll end up overheating the engine before you can even get it to take any fluid. Uh, so if you don't have this tool that I'm gonna show you, you can just fill the top radiator hose, pull it off the radiator, start filling it up till it starts coming out of the block basically. And uh, then you can put it back on, fill the radiator up, run it that way. So that way the thermostat will heat up and open up and then you can kind of burp the cooling out that way. The way we're gonna do it is we are going to be using a, here's the part number up in the top right. It is a cooling system refiller. This one is by Snap-on. There's multiple companies that make them. I can just, I got a Snap-on dealer through work. I just get it that way, a little bit easier. I can make payments if I have to. So how this works is you just put it on your radiator with the cap, put it down, hook compressed air to it with the valve open. <clears throat> it will pull a vacuum on the system. And the way you'll notice that the vacuum's getting pulled from the gauge, obviously, but I'll show you these hoses, the upper and lower radiator hose will suck flat when we get a good vacuum on it. And then this end of the hose will go in our five gallon bucket full of coolant. And once we close the vacuum valve, you'll know whether rather quickly whether you got a leak or not. This also, you can test for leaks this way. Uh, we will open up the coolant valve and the water, the vacuum is gonna pull the coolant in into all the places that have a vacuum on it. So we'll get water in front of the thermostat, behind the thermostat, basically all the way up to our valve here, we will get coolant flow. We'll also, we'll be able to fill the heater core and everything through this top hose because there, there's a bypass right here. So everything will be full, completely full. Won't have to worry about getting the top radiator hose off or anything. We'll be able to pull a vacuum, make sure it's not leaking, fill it full of coolant. Then whenever we're ready to fire up, we won't have any issues. So I'm gonna get this all set up. We'll get a vacuum pulled and I'll show you how it works. All right guys, starting off, we just gotta get our radiator cap off. Get it out of the way. Then we can get our new coolant, our snap-on coolant on, and you can just tighten it up. There we go. Then we will. Now we can get our compressed air and hook it up. Now that it's done, there we go. Hook the air up, open our valve. As you can see, it's currently pulling a vacuum. So we're at 15, quick check right now. You just close it. You would know rather quickly whether you had a leak or not. Okay guys, we got a good vacuum on it now. It's holding. As you can see, the upper radiator hose is sucked flat. The lower radiator hose is sucked flat. So now what we will do is just get our, like our fill hose, which has a filter on the bottom. So if you have some dirty coolant, It'll keep from sucking up some nasty stuff. We will just put it in our bucket. Now that we got a good vacuum, we will open up this coolant hose that I've already primed. And you can watch the upper radiator hose fill with fluid and come back to normal shape. So I'm gonna crack this valve open. It is now filling the radiator. It's filling every place that that vacuum has taken place of. And it's going to fill the block, fill in front of the thermostat, fill behind it. So that way, when we go to start the engine, the entire system will be completely full. We won't have to burp any air out of the system or anything like that.
You can see the gauge is slowly losing vacuum as the system feels full of water. You can hear the coolant working its way through the system. You want to make sure you have plenty of coolant because if it sucks air, you're going to have to start the process all over again. And that way, that's why I like to use just five gallons because this system ain't going to take five gallons of coolant, but you'll have plenty so you never burp air. As you can see, it is almost completely done filling the system. The hoses are starting to puff back up. Obviously, it won't be 100% until we're able to fire up the engine and, you know, circulate the coolant. And if there is any in the radiator or any air bubbles, it should be able to burp it out. So. We'll just let this um, continue to fill the radiator. And uh, once it's done, I'll come back and I'll uh, pop this off, show you how much fluid is in the radiator. All right, now that it's done, we just release it. The radiator is, I don't know if I'll be able to get y'all in there to see the actual fluid level. Nope, not good enough light, but everything is, you can see hoses are back to normal size. They are all full of fluid. Radiators charged. Everything is full of fluid. We won't overheat once we start it. That is the proper procedure for filling up an LS cooling system. So now we just got to get everything wired. So that way when we fire it up, we're not going to overheat on the startup. So if you like the video guys, like, comment, subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.